Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle and this is your first time watching one of my videos. I talk about planning, fragrance, body care, and budgeting and pretty much anything else that I want to talk about. But if any of that seems like something that you may be interested in, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But don't stop there. Make sure that you turn on your notifications and set it to all so that you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. If you are already a subscriber, thank you. You are greatly appreciated. So y'all, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Y'all, we're back with another budgeting video. And if you have not seen my detailed, my July detailed budgeting video, I will link it here in the cards. If you have not seen um, the update where I updated y'all on what I've been spending for the month, what bills have been paid. I will link this one in the cards as well. And if you have not seen um, me getting you or catching you up to speed on the paycheck budgets for weeks one through four for July, I will link that one in the cards. Also, be sure to check all those videos out because it will just bring you up to speed on where we are for the month of July so far. So today is going to be another weekly expense update. Y'all, I told y'all that I was going to get back on it. And I think I've been doing pretty good. Um, even though these videos have been coming out like back to back to back um, of the past couple of days. But make sure that y'all watch the videos because it does help my channel out. Oh, and make sure that you like the video give me a thumbs up because it does help my algorithm i'm trying to get back into the swing of things um we're not sick anymore basketball has ceased and um yeah i'm trying to get things back lined out and back on somewhat of a schedule so whenever i do narrow down my schedule whether that's going to be planning videos body care fragrance videos like fun Friday videos and budgeting I will post that in on the community tab so that way y'all can see what's going to post when because like I said I'm trying to get back on track I'm trying y'all so just bear with me but this is going to be a weekly expense tracker video and I need to wipe this out because this is not week three this is for week four just go ahead and do all of this but is it week third no i think it's is it week four let's see how many have i done so far i think i've already done that was one i've already done three two yep three Okay, so this is week, this is week four. Week four, 721. I think it's through 727. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I have here my Happy Planner micro notes. I need to get out my highlighters here and y'all surprisingly we don't have a lot of entries and i am so happy so happy to see what we spent and check off my or update my no spend days you know doing these videos like this helps to keep me accountable and let me know down below down below if y'all are keeping up with your expenses if you're keeping up with your low spend or no spend july as well right <clears throat> so here's what we have for the week i think it's what five or six entries not a lot but it's enough all right so since it's not that many, I'm not going to play music and speed it through um, and speed through it. I'm just going to talk with y'all throughout the video. So on 724, I did a transaction at work at the vending machine. 
This is going to be under my spending and miscellaneous category. And the amount was $2.26. Same day on the 24th. Now, what happened this day is that was a Wednesday. I had been out because I was sick with the C word, right? I got sick the prior Wednesday. And so I was off work that Thursday and Friday, so the 18th and the 19th, throughout the weekend, that Monday and Tuesday. And I said on Wednesday, I said, okay, you know what? My fever has subsided. I feel okay, not exactly 100%. So let me try to go back to work. I went back to work on this Wednesday, the 24th. And y'all, uh-uh. I still had that like foggy head and I still, my voice was still raspy. And I wasn't 100%. So I worked on the 24th, but that Thursday, the 25th, and Friday, the 26th, I stayed at home because I wasn't feeling well. I wanted to make sure that I was 100% before I went back to work. But I will be going back to work Monday, tomorrow, Monday. So then I went to Cap Captain D's. And I shouldn't have gone. I just... I don't know. I hadn't really been eating anything. So I was like, let me go get some food. Okay, 7.25. Went to 7.11. That's under spending in miscellaneous. I spent $3.79. Again, on 7.29. Um, on the AMC app. I updated my... What do you call it? My Premier Stubs membership. And that was $16.24. $7.25. I also got us food at Wingstop that night. That was $38.06. Y'all, I was trying to find me a coupon code. But you, you know what? They don't have coupons for like restaurant or fast food places like that. I was trying to find 10% off. 15% off something. I didn't want to pay $38.06. Now, granted, it was um, a 20-piece 20-piece wings, a side of fries, and then the large side of Cajun corn. So, I don't think that was too bad, but I did not want to pay $40. But I did because we had to eat, right? So, also, before I came home from Wingstop, I stopped at Sonic and got myself and bro some drinks okay so that's everything for this week week four so we have what categories spending and miscellaneous and then we have eat out okay so we got eat out spending and miscellaneous Okay, so on the 24th, we have this spending in miscellaneous on the 25th, and then on the 25th again. Okay, then for eat out, we have, I should go ahead and calculate those up. Let me just go ahead and do the highlighter. Captain B's, Wingstop, and Sonic. Okay. So let's do this. Let's color these in. All right. So now we are done with our highlighters, y'all. All right. And this is called the highlighter method where I go through and I highlight any corresponding categories that I have assigned to a particular highlighter. Now, this spending that doesn't necessarily come out of my daily spending. Um, if it comes out of my daily spending, which is in my my wallet, my cash envelopes, I won't track that here. What I'm tracking here, I don't think. Let me see. Because I haven't been doing that. I feel like, you know what though? Scratch that. Yes. I could, I would do that. Cause I was gonna say, whatever I have in my everyday carry, which are my daily envelopes and my wallet, I wouldn't track that here. But 
I'm now recanting. I will track that here just to see what I'm spending and how much I spent. And then at the end of the week, I will close out the budget and do an update to let y'all know where I came in under my actual numbers, what I budgeted for, and then what I came in, what I actually spent. That's what we're going to do. Okay, for spending and miscellaneous, let's see, what do we have? We have $2.26, $3.79, and then $16.24 for a total of $22.29. And then for Eat Out, we have $7.03, $38. 06 and then 301 for a total of $48.10. And so that total for the week spent is $70.39. Let me just make sure because I have a tendency to miscalculate. Okay, 7039. So let's put this on here. Total spent 7039. That's not too bad, y'all. I would have preferred it to be $38 cheaper, which would have put us at $32.30, but it's okay. Didn't break the bank. It's okay. So now let's see here. All right, y'all. So that's everything. For this weekly expense tracker, updating what I've spent for the week. Oh, you know what? Let's do the no spend days. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's turn to, I thought I was done. So let's go ahead and see here. I thought I was finished already, but let's do this. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, so... We're looking at, okay, this week here. Y'all, you know what? My last video, I said I'm not going to make it the 20 days, but we may make it though, y'all, because I was just counting. I was like, how many days we have left in the month? But I forgot to count this week also. All right, so the 21st, 20th, 21st, I didn't spend anything. 22nd, I didn't spend anything. Twenty-third, I didn't spend anything. I don't count bills. So I spent on the twenty-fourth and the twenty-fifth. Didn't spend anything on Friday, the 26th. I think I need to start writing down my bills in black and not this red here. So we had a no spend there. The 27th, we didn't spend anything. And that is it. So we're going to count this up, y'all. Y'all, I think we may make it. I think we may make it. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. No spins, y'all. And we have. How many days? Well, I'm going to count this whole week. Seven more days. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven more days, y'all. A whole week. And we are at 17. So I just need three more days of no spins. And then I will have hit my goal for the month. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited, y'all. So let's see here. We had... I did that for that week. Why didn't I count? Oh, that is Saturday. So we have Sunday. Let's do 
So Sunday, we got Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Yay! This was our best week yet because I only spent on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, y'all. I am excited. I am excited that... You know what? I'm going to hit this goal. I don't care. I'm speaking it. I'm going to hit this goal to where... We have 20 no spend days for the month of July, and I will carry this over to August as well. My low spend slash no spend August. So, y'all, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch those videos, y'all, so that way it helps to boost my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Just Rochelle W. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.